Coming up on Around Kern County, a job training program is helping residents experiencing homelessness put their best foot forward. How laborers for the harvest is changing lives and making a difference in our community. And May is Mental Health Awareness Month in Kern County. How you can access free resources and get involved when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Laborers for the Harvest, a job training program led by Kern County Employers Training Resources, provides job skills to residents in our community struggling with homelessness. This week, program participants were given the right tools to help them put their best foot forward as they work to better their lives and make a difference in our community. Well, Laborers of the Harvest started off to be a food bank and now we are a free, fresh food facility. Our group went from PB&J sandwiches and bologna and cheese sandwiches to, as of December, gathering and gleaning fresh rescued food from all the grocery stores, 92,000 pounds of food, and serving 11,000 people in Kern County per month. So that's pretty extraordinary, all done with our very own collective here that you've seen. They're, most of them, they were homeless. They used to live under bridges. They used to live in the ditches, tents. Some of them still do, but they have given to Kern County like crazy. They're my homeless heroes. By the time they graduate in six months, they will have six certifications, forklift, food handlers permits, uh, warehouse safety, CPR classes, some admin and also store display and so we're pretty excited about that. Um, everyone that's running our operation is already working on it but now for them to get paid to actually serve 11,000 plus people in Kern County that's pretty huge that's amazing and going from the ditches and tents and under bridges to being paid these guys are just, they didn't even know they were that worthy. So this is a huge thing what the county is doing. I would like to say <laughs> about this program is thank you for giving us the chance to be able to learn new things, to get certificates and things so that we can go to another job. Well, if anyone's interested in finding out more about us or if you'd like to donate or volunteer time or if you'd like to just know about us, please take our information and and contact us. We, we just love serving people and if nothing else, just come and see what we're doing. It's pretty extraordinary. Thank you, Kern County Board of Supervisors proclaimed April 24th through 30th as Crime Victims Rights Week during their meeting on Tuesday. This national campaign honors people who have been victims of crime, and this year's local emphasis is on victims who have lost their lives to those who chose to drive under the influence. Well, this is National Crimes uh, Victims Rights Week, and throughout the country, uh, district attorney's offices and victims' rights groups are getting together and honoring victims. The community joined our district attorney, Cynthia Zimmer, in recognizing the importance of this awareness campaign by participating in the 8th annual Kern County District Attorney's Office Crime Victims March on Wednesday outside the Superior Courthouse. From guest speakers to residents wearing t-shirts in honor of their loved ones lost, this event sheds light on the value of supporting crime victims and their families and provides an opportunity for our community to come together and take a stand against crime. I think that there are people throughout our community that care deeply for the families that are here today and we, we grieve with you and we grieve uh, for you. If you'd like to learn more about our district attorney's office, please visit their website at the link on your screen. Also during this week's board meeting, supervisors proclaimed May as Mental Health Awareness Month. Kern County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services puts on this annual campaign to help remove the stigma from mental health and encourage our community to embrace caring for their minds. 
Reducing the stigma is extremely important because in reducing the stigma, we make it acceptable for people to acknowledge the struggles they're having and ask for help. It's critical to let our community know that it is okay to acknowledge their feelings and to reach out for help if needed. BHRS is hosting numerous events for residents throughout May that will provide free resources and opportunities for our community to prioritize their mental health and well-being. At Behavioral Health and with all of our contract providers, we bring awareness every single day. This is a month for all of us to come together and just really celebrate the awareness that we bring and get that conversation started in the community. Throughout the county, we'll be having various events. Um, two events that I'd like to highlight are we'll be uplighting the county administrative building in lime green, which is the color of mental health awareness. And our, really our goal with that is so anybody driving through downtown really takes a look at one of our prominent buildings and says, what's this color about? And does a little bit of research and looks at it and reflects on it and talks about their own mental health. The other event that I'm very excited to bring back is Art in the Park. So uh, May 14th and 15th, we're gonna be out at Panorama Park and we're gonna be just displaying various art pieces that are created by the community all focused on mental health. Mental health is important to all of us. And this year's campaign is a chance to start the conversation, raise awareness and end the stigma. If you would like to access an entire calendar of events as well as mental health resources, please visit kernbhrs.org. And we're ending today by celebrating our workforce in honor of Public Service Recognition Week, as proclaimed by the Board of Supervisors during Tuesday's meeting. This national campaign officially kicks off May 1st and lasts through May 7th, and is designed to highlight the accomplishments of the dedicated public servants who work to provide essential services to communities across the country. From basic transportation to the paved roads we travel on, our community uses many government-sponsored facilities and programs on a daily basis. We'd like to honor the accomplishments of the more than 7,400 Kern County employees who serve our community on a daily basis. We appreciate all that you do and thank you for serving Kern County. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our submit a story form. We'll see you right back here next week.